Welcome to Iceland, where Land Rover flew me down here to test drive that, the brand new Discovery. And what Land Rover trip would be complete without a river crossing? Check it out. Land Rover is trying to prove that their newest car is just as off-road worthy as the Range Rover and of course the LR4 and the Defender, which we don't get in America. And coming up next, hopefully we won't see a repeat of the Titanic because there are big chunks of ice that flow down this river, but this car will make it across and we're going to review the brand new Land Rover Discovery coming up next on the fast lane car. Look at that. No problem whatsoever. Can he get out of the river? That is a big question. Let's find out. Here he comes. Oh yeah, done like a true professional. None, of course, that's the answer, and this is where it gets fun, because to prove its off-road chops, Land Rover has set up, well, a river crossing to make it a little bit challenging uh, for us to uh, take these things off-road. Now, my call on this car is that it's kind of more in line with the uh, Evoke side of the family tree instead of the Range Rover slash LR4 side, and what I mean by that is when you're sitting in a... Range Rover or an LR4, you've got that command driving position. You're on top of the car, you're kind of looking over the world, and you're feel like you're the king of the world. In this, more like the Evoke, you're inside the car. It's a much sportier feel. And uh, quite honestly, the command driving position is a little better driving position for off roading. This feels like it's more road worthy than off road worthy, and that's why uh, Land Rover has set up this off road course and specifically this river crossing to give us a chance to experience the car in its uh, off-road wonder. So uh, yeah, I'm curious as to how it'll do. Keep in mind it has just a little bit above 8.3 inches of ground clearance, which is okay. You know, I mean, it's at the kind of the bottom acceptable part in my book of off-road vehicles. You want to have at least eight. I mean, nine is better and 10 is much better. I'm talking about off-road. Uh, ground clearance. Let's just be very clear about that. So you may be wondering where does the new Discovery fit in the Land Rover slash Range Rover lineup? Well, it doesn't exactly replace the LR2 because it competes with cars like the Audi Q5 and maybe even the Jeep Grand Cherokee. At a starting point of $38,000, it kind of straddles both groups. And it also has what is more of a road-worthy way of taking cars off-road and that is a Haldex system that is a viscous coupling so that basically what happens is this car allocates most of its power to the front wheels and when they lose grip then all of a sudden the power goes to the rear wheels but for the most part it has a front wheel bias and off-roading obviously uh, there's a little bit of a um, hesitation before the power goes from the front to the rear wheels <laughs> Oh 
Under the hood, you'll find the same two liter engine you find in the Evoque, a two liter turbocharged engine that puts out 240 horsepower and 250 pound foot of torque. And here's the cool bit. It's made it to a nine speed, yes indeed, nine speed automatic transmission. And here in Iceland, it powers all four wheels. Well, everywhere, but especially in Iceland, it's nice. management system here so I've got uh, snow and ice is one of the uh, options which I'm in of course uh, but there's some pretty hardcore defenders here and if I'm being honest I would much rather be in a defender at this point than uh, the new disco but you know let's face it these cars are more about taking the family to your favorite fishing hole than taking it way beyond your favorite fishing hole. The interior of this new Discovery is quite a pleasant place to spend time. Everything is clean, everything is modern, everything is very stylish. Everything that you touch is soft and feels expensive. I especially like the panoramic roof, which gives you a great seating position in the back seat because you don't feel claustrophobic. And speaking of the back seat, it has that kind of classic stadium seating where the second row is higher than the first row and the optional third row is higher than the second row. Land Rover wants to prove that if you have to go into your favorite fishing hole, this car will take you in and out of it. So that's what we're about to do next. And I'm a little bit nervous because I'm really, uh, not sure how this thing will do and I'm looking at this river in front of me and there are like pieces of ice streaming down it <laughs> so hopefully I won't be the Titanic <laughs> and hit a, hit a floating iceberg as it comes down the river now in the back this is where you get all your useful space much bigger than an evoke in this case we have enough room for a mountain bike for a stand-up paddle board if you have a short one. And if you want, there is an option for, and this is what Land Rover calls it, a plus two. Basically, you can put a set of seats in here that will be big enough for small kids or the mother-in-law. Just kidding. Here we go, across the river we go now. This is a point where I wish I had uh, air suspension. It would be nice to be able to lift this up and uh, get it up out of the water a little bit more, but it is what it is, so we're just gonna go nice and easy, and hopefully no icebergs are gonna take us out. So here we go, into the water, woo -hoo. Whoa. Whoa. as we slide in. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Banging, banging, banging. Not floating yet. Just trucking across here, trucking, trucking, trucking. And hopefully we can get across here, no problem. Makes it look easy. Now I just gotta get up, up on this thing with a little bit of power. <laughs>
<laughs> and across the river we go. Woohoo! about Iceland is that there's not a lot of light. Um, it gets light about 10.30 and gets dark about 5, so we only have maybe six hours of light. So we get up at the crack ass of dawn this morning to drive 380 kilometers, 250 miles, and uh, not ideal for shooting video, but it is stunningly beautiful. $38,000 is going to be a really low starting point for a lot of people. They're going to look at the brand and say, you know, I can get the same car that the housewives of Name the City are driving, and yes, you can. Um, you know, will you be getting the exact same car? Heck no. I mean, this is a much different vehicle. It's uh, certainly much smaller. Think of it kind of as a double XL Land Rover Evoque. In other words, uh, it's got the same powertrain. It's got the same train management system. It's got the same Haldex all-wheel drive system. Style-wise, the Evoque was really a concept car that made it into production. It had that kind of squished roof, made it look really cool. Also made it look, well, to some people, almost too cutting edge. This is much more modern, much more traditional. It is handsome and quite elegant. But it will seat five comfortably, and if you get the two plus option, and that's what Land Rover is calling it, five plus two, you can also put the kiddos in the back. And yes, indeed, while it's very warm here today, just above freezing, check this out. We're rolling on some studded snow tires because the roads are pretty much all ice. Land Rover says zero to 60 in 7.6 seconds, and I believe it. A little turbocharged engine is basically the same one that was developed with Ford. You'll find it in the Escape, you'll find it in the Evoque. Uh, Land Rover has done significant improvements to it, direct injected it. Uh, it's peppy. In terms of fuel economy, the EPA says 21 city, 28 highway, 23 combined, according to Land Rover. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I'm going to say, as always, I don't know. I've only been behind the wheel a few hours, and that's not fair to you, and certainly not fair to Land Rover. But I can tell you this, if you're looking for a hard off-road vehicle, look at the Range Rover or the LR4. This is much more of a soft roader. But if you're looking for something that fits five and seven in a pinch and starts at a remarkable $38,000 US for a very classic Land Rover vehicle, this is a good choice. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, Icelandic reviews. Ciao.